Hey guys, welcome back to Robo. Hope you guys are doing well and staying safe. And today in this video, we're going to talk about what PIC microcontroller, PIC microcontroller is. Just brush through its basics, its advantages, disadvantages, some of its applications. So yeah, just a basic video of what PIC microcontroller is. So stay tuned. PIC or PIC was initially stated as Peripheral Interface Controller but currently it's known as Programmable Intelligent Computer. The large reason of PIC holding on to the market is that it is used both by hobbyists and even industrial developers. The strong part of this microcontroller is that it can be programmed for storing and running data through it. Let's sort of talk about the architecture of PIC microcontroller in brief. So PIC microcontroller supports a RISC architecture that is RISC which stands for Reduced Instruction Set Computer. So let's look at some of the characteristics of this RISC architecture. The first thing is that only 35 commands are there in an instruction set and most of the instructions are single cycle that are 2 clock cycles or 4 clock cycles in 8 bit models. You can calculate the execution time of the command on the basis of its clock frequency. And on your screen right now is the full architecture of a PIC microcontroller. RISC or Reduced Instruction Set Computer is a microprocessor architecture that uses small or highly optimized set of instructions rather than highly specialized or complex instructions that are used or found in other architectures. If you want to learn more in depth about the architecture of a PIC microcontroller, you can check out our blog. It's a very detailed blog stating all the different types and blocks of a PIC microcontroller and its entire architecture. You can check the blog out. It's the first link down in the description. Check it out. Let's talk about some of the advantages of a PIC microcontroller. The first one being that it is very reliable and the malfunctioning rate of a PIC microcontroller is very less and it's also fast thanks to it using the RISC architecture. Power consumption of a PIC microcontroller is also very less. If you talk about programming, programming a PIC microcontroller is very easy and if you want to connect more analog devices, you do not need extra circuitry to connect it to a PIC microcontroller. Let's talk about some of the disadvantages a PIC microcontroller has. They're very less but there are there a few of them. The first one being that the length of the program is very long because of it using RISC architecture which has only 35 instructions. And the second one being that the program memory is inaccessible and there is only one accumulator present. Let's talk about a few applications of a PIC microcontroller and it has a very wide set and wide range of applications because again it's both used by hobbyists and even industrial developers. The benefits of using this microcontroller is that it has low power consumption, high performance, supports hardware and software tools like simulators, compilers, debuggers. There are multiple set of applications that a PIC microcontroller has. Some of them being a light intensity controller of a street lamp, object counter, displaying and monitoring that is used for industrial purposes, your automatic hand sanitizers, smart door lock systems, automatic room lighting system, multiple sets of applications both for your DIY project basis and even in industries. And that was it. That was a brief about what a PIC microcontroller is, where it can be used, some of its advantages, disadvantages, everything like that. If you want to see us making a few projects on a PIC microcontroller, let us know in the comment section down below. And if you found this video a little informative, leave this video a like, share it with your friends, let them know what a PIC microcontroller is. And also, we're coming up with a lot of project videos and informative videos such as this. So subscribe if you already haven't. And that has been it. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.